One warning that's often given to expats is whatever you do, ensure that you do not go broke in the Philippines. But over the years, and even to this day, many expats are going broke. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly why this is, what you can do to avoid going broke in the Philippines, and what you are not told. So what is going on? Well, there are many reasons why expats go broke in the Philippines, but one reason reaches the top of our list, and that is relationships. Normally the scenario goes something like this. An older foreign gentleman goes to live or retire in the Philippines, so he meets a young charismatic Filipina. The gentleman appreciates her beauty, her charm, and a relationship begins. But money is the main prize, and this is where problems first begin. So there is a lot of hidden information in this statement that needs to be addressed. For instance, is it that all Filipinas are gold diggers? Or do we, as foreigners, do we overlook things when we're dating in the Philippines? As we've spoken before, we know that not all Filipinas are gold diggers. Many Filipinos are wealthy and many are also looking for a committed, non-financially focused relationship. But unfortunately, low salaries are common in the Philippines, so money can be a focus point in the eyes of a Filipina. Some would say if a foreign gentleman is in a situation where he dated a woman 30 or 40 years younger than himself, or he goes to those late night bars to find his dates, they say he's bound to meet the wrong kind of woman. It's very clear from the comments about this subject that there's a mixture of opinion. Many foreigners and Filipinos can relate to these situations, so there is a degree of empathy here. However, many expats can see the early warning signs and feel that the outcome will always end up this way. One big advantage is changing your mindset to the mindset of a Filipina. So many things are different in the Philippines, especially when it comes to money. Giving money to the family is common, and if somebody in the family is dating a foreigner, it's almost like a sign to the family that money is on its way. So, some women may start to see you in terms of what you can provide to them and their families, or even what you can provide to your future kids. Therefore, what can you do to ensure that you do not fall into this trap and go broke in the Philippines? First of all, don't focus on relationships so much in the early days. Then, when you move to the Philippines, get yourself settled down and play the field a little bit. In most situations, if a Filipina is only after you because of your money, you will be able to spot this as there will be several early warning signs. These signs can include asking about money, asking to borrow money, or asking you to buy gifts for her or her family or her friends, and so on. Secondly, once you have found a woman you are interested in, respectfully lay down the reality. This means that if you are not comfortable giving her money, paying for certain things, etc, etc, then be open and honest. Unfortunately, this may result in some women deciding to go their own way, but if she decides to go her own way because you won't give her money or something similar, trust me, you had a very lucky escape. Thirdly, try to focus on the logic rather than her beauty. Not all women who want your money will be open about it. Many are very sophisticated and can play the long game. They also know how to use their beauty to their advantage as well, so instead look at the patterns and the facts if you're having difficulty finding out what's going on. Additionally, keep stashes of money separate that nobody knows about, only you. Create a small budget and stick to it. If you have a sudden windfall, and it's up to you if you share this information, but I would keep it to myself. What's important to note is that these essential tips can be used when dating in the Philippines. However, what you ultimately do is your decision. As mentioned, not all Filipinas are like this, so you don't necessarily need to be this careful with every type of woman, but it's often recommended, especially in the early days. 